we've had a lot of great responses from our ChatGPT chatbot video. Um, and uh, quite a few questions around uh, using the API connector in Bubble and uh, JSON safe and JSON syntax. Um, so I want to create a video showing how to use the text modifier formatted as JSON safe. And this forms a good follow-up video to our uh, chat GPT chatbot video. Um, so to demonstrate it, I'm just gonna add a, a text label here uh, to understand everything that I've built here, check out our uh, chat GPT uh, chatbot video. Um, but diving in with this, uh, if I look at the multi-line input value and then I say uh, formatted as JSON safe, and then we preview that. You'll see that uh, as I start to type, um, it puts everything within uh, speech marks. Uh, and then if I start putting uh, some punctuation elements um, into uh, the multi-line uh, text input here, it formats those in a JSON safe way. Uh, in many instances, uh, the term uh, kind of from traditional coding is that uh, it escapes punctuation. That if we look at the, um, this is where the problem is introduced, is that the format that OpenAI expects um, for their API uh, text generator uh, is JSON like this. Um, and you have a number of different fields or parameters here, and they're all um, kind of a combination of a label uh, in speech marks and then uh, the data to go along with that label. And then you also um, have like arrays, etc., cetera here. Uh, so you can list more than one element. Um, but the point is that you can't just go around putting speech marks anywhere you like in JSON or commas uh, outside of speech marks anywhere you like, because you will get a syntax error, you will get an error back from the API. Um, and so using uh, formatted as JSON safe is one way uh, to get around that. And so let's illustrate that here by saying, well, sometimes I do want to send a, um, speech marks to OpenAI uh, because it might be a way of highlighting, uh, you know, you, you could have a uh, summarize this text and uh, you'll want to send a colon uh, and you'll also um, want to send some speech marks. Um, uh, uh, hello world. Okay, and so you can see that Bubble has done a number of really helpful things here. Uh, it has uh, added the uh, backslash n to symbolize the two uh, line spaces I've got, and it adds a backslash before the speech marks, which are to be treated as speech marks and are not to be misinterpreted as speech marks uh, within JSON. Um, so this allows me to modify my um, initial workflow. Again, if you're unsure about any of this, go and check out the full video. Um, but I wanna change this here to JSON, formatted as JSON safe, but I also, and this is where I've seen and it's caused me a number of headaches in the past. Um, put some, it gives you the speech marks. So at the moment, I'm going to get double speech marks here. Um, so I change that and I remove that. Now, test it. Uh, so what could I have as a good follow-up uh, to this uh, conversation going on here? I could say, um, tell me five facts about, and then uh, there's not a good reason to do this, but to demonstrate that the speech marks are made uh, JSON safe, I'm just gonna put the shard in speech marks um, and let's have a go. So we're waiting for a response from uh, OpenAI. And there we go, we've got our response back. And I've not got an error, uh, nothing has, has popped up as a browser prompt saying that uh, OpenAI's API has returned an error. Um, so perhaps this is something that I should have included in my initial video to make uh, it an even better demonstration. Um, but. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate to you how, uh, first of all, how JSON formatted as JSON safe 
uh, can solve a lot of your problems with JSON syntax. Uh, and then also how to use that properly with Bubble. Um, so if I go into the database, I can just show you what's going on there uh, with, uh, I think it's messages here. So the JSON that I sent uh, is here and you can see that it escapes the speech marks around the shard, but it puts in the speech marks needed to indicate what is the content. And so then if I go back into the API connector, we can see that as a message to go in my messages, uh, it's all correct. There are no syntax errors. Um, if you are getting additional syntax errors, do go into your database, check that uh, your punctuation is being escaped, check that you've got formatted as JSON saved um, correctly. Uh, and that there aren't any issues with it. And then I would also check what you've got in this box here, that you've not got a comma out of place. Simplify it all the way down to the bare essentials, get it working, and then begin to add in extra parameters, extra messages. Uh, if you've got a question about using the OpenAI API bubble, leave it in the comments. Uh, we read every single one of them.